Scott Hastings with MMATraining.com here with MMA legend Randy Couture. Randy, thanks for joining us today. Uh, first question, can you tell us a little bit about the gym and a little bit about the decision to come to Toronto? Well, as I, as I think Toronto kind of chose me. I was up here doing a lot of work for the Fight Network and obviously a huge fan base here in Canada. Yep. Uh, Doug approached us about the, the brand and, and the gym. He heard about the gym in Vegas and yep. uh, he runs System Fitness, which so you know is the business uh, on that side of things. Yep. And so we kind of melded the two ideas together and then here you have Extreme Couture which kind of encompasses certainly the fitness aspect of, of mixed martial arts and then obviously the back is the combat side of the, of yeah. the house and yeah. uh, I think it works really really well. Yeah, no it certainly is an impressive facility. Another thing I'd like to touch on is the staff here. Uh, reports are Mark Hominuk, uh, Chris Hordecki, guys like that. Can you tell us, comment a little bit about that, the staff here? It's, it's really a, an all-star team of guys. Well absolutely, you know Chris and Mark are guys that train in Vegas with us so it's Sean Tompkins, who's our MMA coach down there on staff, and uh, Sean Garris is a friend of mine. I went to college with his brother Jason and know him real well, and he's obviously well connected here in this community with wrestling and MMA, and so we kind of pulled together the best guys that he could find that were interested in doing some teaching and instructing and looking also for their Canadian home uh, and not have to come to Vegas all the time to train with us down there. So it was a natural fit, I think, for Chris and Mark and Bocek as well, who's from the area, who's a great jits kid, and Making his trying to make his way into MMA as well. Yeah. Now, professional mixed martial arts isn't legal in Ontario yet. How important is that for this gym, and how important it is for you for one day for MMA to be legalized everywhere in North America? Well, I think the key word there is yet. I think uh, the first thing that happened is Montreal, which was a huge success uh, yeah. on the MMA front with the UFC there, and I think that uh, the revenues generated there is going to seriously put some pressure on the province of Ontario. I think this gym coming online and the constituents in this area that. Uh, huge MMA fans are going to continue to put pressure on the powers that be here to, to legalize it in this in this province as well. So yeah. I really think with the lobbying that's going on, it's only a matter of time. Yeah. Now, Randy, we got to ask you, the Fedor fight against Tim Sylvia coming up in a month. Who do you like in that fight and why? Well, I think on paper everybody's expecting uh, Fedor you know, to handle Tim. And yeah. how that happens is certainly a question. Tim poses some interesting problems for anybody at six foot eight, and <laughs> he's a rangy striker. He's got great takedown defense. And, uh, yeah. and they're fighting in a ring, which I think lends itself to, to keeping the fight standing a little a little more, uh, which is I think a, an advantage to Tim, because yeah. I think as Nogueira pointed out, Tim's Achilles heel is still on the ground with the submissions, and Fedor's finished a lot of his fights by submission. So yeah. I'll, I'll be anxiously watching that fight to see how yeah. it goes. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet. And last question for you, Randy: When we, when do you think we'll see you back in the cage ring? When are we going to expect you to see you again? Uh, I should be free and clear of the UFC contract in July, and. and and I'm looking to be back in the ring in October. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Earliest it probably be October. Could be uh, as late as the first of next year, but sometime in the fall, hopefully. Yeah, well, I think I speak for all of us, so we're looking forward to seeing you back in the ring or cage real soon. Thanks very much, Randy. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks. thanks.